Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Ohio Pain Network. Today's topic is my hip pain coming from a hip or a lumbar spine problem. Hip pain is very common. Millions of Americans suffer from hip arthritis, which can cause significant disability and limited ability to walk, exercise, participate in recreational activities. There are over 300,000 total hip replacements performed every year in the U.S. When pain is occurring in the hip area, it just seems obvious to assume that the problem is coming from the hip joint. However, that may not be the case. Um, it may be coming from an overlap in symptoms between hip arthritis and what's known as lumbar spinal stenosis. As individuals age, spinal stenosis becomes extremely common, just like hip arthritis, and both occur from you know, good old wear and tear degeneration. Lumbar spinal stenosis occurs with degeneration that starts with the intervertebral disc, and that can then lead to arthritis in the spinal joints, which are in the back of the spine. Those are called the facet joints, F-A-C-E-T, okay? They are then <clears throat> prone to bony and soft tissue overgrowth, and that can start to pinch on the spinal cord and nerve roots and lead to significant pain in the hip, leg, buttock area, and it can mimic, um, hip pain can mimic, you know, the arthritis pain and you don't know if it's coming from the hip or the lumbar spine. So how do you differentiate, differentiate between the two? Well, just looking at x-rays and imaging studies is not always going to be exceptionally helpful. For instance, here on an MRI, you can see that there's significant, you know, pinching in this area, okay? Here it's wide open, here it's pretty open, but here there's disc coming back and there's overgrowth of soft tissue and bone going forward and it's pinching it a lot. And you can see that on this cartoon here, how that happens, okay? Now on a pelvic x-ray, <clears throat> you can also, and this, this could be the same patient, you could have an arthritic hip. There's very little joint space here. See how this is a great looking joint space? And the femoral head looks nice and spherical. And here there's some irregularities to it. There's some cystic formation, some hardening of the bone. This has very severe arthritis. So how do you tell in this patient which is the problem? Well, there's a few ways to differentiate it on history. So if a person says that their uh, pain really is more um, in the leg than it is in the hip, you know, that's a little bit of an indication. You want to know the duration, when it comes, when it goes. Uh, both of these, hip and spine source, can cause referred pain down the leg. All right. Um, you see here the picture of the person leaning forward on the shopping cart. It's very common with spinal stenosis that someone will say, you know, I feel a lot better when I'm in the grocery store leaning forward on the cart. Well, that's because with lumbar spinal stenosis, the canal opens up when you lean forward. So a person will often say, I feel better leaning forward on a cart. I feel better when I'm going upstairs because they're leaning forward. You know, that can be very different than hip arthritis. If they have point tenderness in the hip area, that's more indicative of a hip source. Range of motion pain in the hip, more indicative of arthritis in the hip. A neurologic exam is not usually very helpful. As I mentioned, imaging studies before are not always very helpful. <clears throat> Here you see spinal stenosis. Normally this is sort of a triangle. It's more of a, a trefoil now where the overgrowth. Um, an MRI really is a study of choice, but it really is more indicative as opposed to definitive. So when you have a diagnostic injection, if you do a diagnostic injection into the hip and it relieves all the hip pain, then you can pretty much say, aha, the hip is the source of the pain, okay? An epidural injection, pretty much the same thing. If, if the source of the spinal stenosis is in one level and the injection relieves all the pain, you can sit there and say, ah, it's a spinal stenosis causing the issue. So here are the potential outcomes. If you have complete hip relief with a hip injection, it's a hip problem. If you have complete hip relief with an epidural injection, it's a lumbar spine problem. If you have some relief from the hip injection and the rest of the relief come from an epidural, then it's a combination of the two. There's always the possibility that neither injection will work very well. In that case, the pain doctor will need to keep investigating. The top non-operative pain management in Ohio is through the Ohio Pain Network. There are multiple clinics throughout the state accepting over 50 insurances and providing over 25 treatment options with the board certified doctors. Visit us online today at ohiopainnetwork.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 888-466-9898.
I'm Dr. David Green with the Ohio Pain Network. Your pain stops here.